Welcome back, Dr. Troy Dukowitz. Here we are, week four of your patient education retention system, and our focus this week is what? Ha ha ha. We've gone through a lot of history, and now this week it is a testimonial drive. We are going after the history of your patients. That's right, a testimonial drive to get their testimonials of where they are, where they were, and where they are now as a result of being patients in your office. This whole month has been about history, your history and why you're a chiropractor, a little research history in chiropractic, the history of chiropractic with the very first adjustment, and now we're going to your patients. We've talked a lot of history this month, month, so it all funnels into this one place where we're at right now, and that is getting testimonials. Now, this is a benefit for a number of reasons. Number one, as your patients talk about the testimonials, one of the things you should be doing is saying, man, do you share that with anyone? If they tell you a story, have you shared that with anyone? Do you know anyone? that could benefit from hearing your story because it's such a great story. So open that door to get your patients talking this up to their friends, to their colleagues, to their coworkers, to their family members. This opens that door. Number two, you're getting it on paper, which means now you start to build your testimonial file. And the reason this is so important, there's a number of different reasons, but now when I have somebody come in who says they have a friend who has horrible migraine headaches, instead of going and pulling out some cheesy ass brochure that has nothing to do with your office, it has nothing to do with you, what you stand for, you pull out a testimonial form and you say, look, you know what, you got to take this. You got to take this and share this with your friend. This is a patient in our office. She had tremendous success with chiropractic as a result of helping her with her migraines. Now her whole family's here. So why don't you take this and share this with your friend and by the way take this intake form give them the give him or her the intake form as well give them the story give them the intake form and tell them all they have to do is make a phone call to us and we'll get them scheduled and tell them to make sure to mention your name so you take that extra step because that's what testimonials do and the beauty of this is why would I give this instead of a brochure because if I give a patient a testimonial from another patient and it's talking about their migraine headaches First of all, it connects with whoever gets to read this. If you give this to another migraine sufferer, they're reading this going, wow, I can totally relate to what this person's saying, if it was well written, right? I can totally relate. There's contrast. It's personal. It's a third party endorsement of what it is that you do. It connects them. And it connects them to what? Coming to your office. Because if that person had success, they would like to get the same success. Here we go, contrast. Where they are, where they want to go. So by getting these testimonials, they help you in so many different areas, but namely this particular area as you use them almost as a calling card for people outside of your practice. The other side, you put this stuff up in your office. If you're using the Insight subluxation station like we do, man, you have this set up uh, right in front of HRV. So when somebody's getting an HRV, they're sitting there reading a testimonial. You have these things in the office so when people walk down the halls, they can read testimonials of other people and successes that they've had. So the, the usages of testimonials is, is endless. What we want to do right now, where our focus is this week, is to get the testimonials. So we're going to have to ask. Some of you feel uncomfortable about this. But what we know is, is that we all have success stories in our offices. And what we have to do is when we've heard something from somebody, use that as your trigger. In other words, Mary, you know, you've told me so many times that you're sleeping better. Would you mind sharing that? We just have a short testimonial form. And would you just mind sharing your experience here in the office? Because it could help so many other people who have problems with sleep. It could help so many other people who have problems with X, Y, and Z. And we're so passionate about helping people that, man, if your story can inspire somebody, certainly you'd probably love to be able to do that, wouldn't you? So open the door. If they've already shared something with you, this is just one of those triggers for you that now triggers them. We had this conversation, could we get you to write it down? Or if it's somebody who hasn't really talked much about it to either doctor or staff, Mary, you know, how's your experience here been? What kind of changes have you known through chiropractic? Doctors, it's really easy. Mary, I've noticed so many great positive changes in how you're, how you're responding to your adjustments. What's been happening at home? What have you noticed as a result of getting adjusted in our office? CAs, you can say the same thing. What have you noticed as a result of getting adjusted in our office? And as they start to talk about the changes and things that they've seen, ask them to go ahead and fill this out. If it's a person that you're not sure about, and this is especially for staff, if you're not sure about it, leave it for the doc. Write the person's name down, ask the doctor, and then have the doctor have this discussion. But man, open up the conversation. You can walk out of this week with three to five, 
or 20 or 30 or 40 testimonials, depending on how much effort and energy you want to put into it. Remember, this is a testimonial drive. It benefits you, it benefits future patients, and it benefits existing patients, because what does it do for the existing patients? It's a reminder of the success they've had in your office. My mom, I'm 47 years old, I know I don't look it, my mom to this day still says to me, don't ever forget where you came from. So for your patients to go down this path of having a testimonial drive, the big key here is what? That they don't ever forget where they came from and what's helped them to get them to where they are today. So what are you gonna get here? You'll notice what's attached. We've got questions for what we call the patient spotlight, wellness member testimonial questions, and children's success story, which is questions that can be handwritten and you can put the child's picture right down below. So that one is a little bit easier because it's handwritten, okay? So uh, it's also something you can put in a frame right away and you can start sharing. The other ones you're gonna wanna transfer over to uh, the testimonial template that you used from last month. We also have a few other forms that we can shoot out there if those will be helpful as well. So that's what I've got for you. Fourth week of September is testimonial week. Remember, if you choose not to do this one, you still have one of the two bonuses that you can insert here. That's all I've got for you now. I'm Dr. Troy Duquist. Remember, well, what's our purpose here? Everyone, together now, increase patient certainty so we can increase patient retention. Have a fantastic week. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.